Okay, so here within the form, I'm then just gonna come down here to master detail form and go new detail. Now I want to create a new block as well because I want it to be displayed next to the logo and we will set that up as a tab as well. So here I will then say uh, company underscore client or in fact, let's just change that to list underscore clients. Okay, and clients list. Now I may want to change this label because of course we have language variables applied. And talking about language variables, well, I have another little surprise for you. So if I come here to the application language of this project and start to have a look through our language titles and you'll see I've started to actually provide the translations, not for all of them, but for the first few blocks. Okay, so that first of all, we can actually test the languages, we can see the language changing us on. And secondly, because I thought I'd give you a head start. Now, if I have the time, I will continue and complete the rest of these. Maybe not as we continue on within the project, but we'll see. Okay, but for now, know that there are some of these blocks already pre-translated for you, which is awesome, right? Okay, so here for our label, for our block that we are now going to create here, we would want to create a new label. So here in application language, we have here the client email. I don't see anything there that is suitable to use. So table clients, here we can use the clients. So here I'll grab this language variable, I'll just copy that, come here to the form companies, and don't forget the curly brackets and paste then the language variable within the brackets. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click the create button. And now I just need to choose or select here my company clients Inc. The one I just created, this one here. Okay, so I'm selecting that, I'm going next, and now I need to pass along that variable. Okay, so we just need to choose that variable that we are using, and that is, of course, here, the ID companies. So if I confirm that, I can then change or modify the final details here for the view of the grid within this application. So here I can choose the initial mode of this. If I want to have a search there, in this case, it doesn't make sense, but in some scenarios, it may make sense to have this as a search. For now, I'm just going to set it as a grid. You can indicate the number of lines or columns that you want to display, if you want to hide the head or not, as well as if you want to enable the navigation buttons. So I will enable those and not display the header. I will leave the iframe width and height, but we can define those as well. But I will also, however, remove here the margins as well as the border. Now for paging, we will go partial because we have enabled here the active navigation buttons. So I'll save that and then I can actually go ahead and run my application. Okay, so now I have here my block list clients and we see how that is already. So let's go ahead and make a few adjustments to that. Okay, so I see straight away already before we even get there that the label was not applied. So I will need to apply that again. So if I come here to our application languages and here I will then paste that here into the block label. Here I, again, I will change the position to above and tabs and it is 100%, okay? So the label for clients, I don't think we actually need it because it's going to be the list of clients, right? So if I just remove that, click run, and now come here to clients, we now have here our grid. And now just to make that a little nicer, I'll come back here to the company clients, access settings, set the vertical alignment to top, as well as the grid modules for the width, and we then change here, make sure the width is at 100%. Okay, so that is good. Now, if I save that and run here the company clients, we'll see a difference there already. It's nice and snug now. And if I run then here the form companies and come to clients, well, that is now also a bit snugger within 
this form. Okay, so we will also want to hide this clients block when we load here the form application. So let's come here to events, on load, and we then also adjust here the view for that block. Now I don't remember the block name, so let's come back here to block and be sure to save along the way. And that was list clients, okay? So I'll come back here to on load and adjust that then to display then SC block display list clients. Now if I run again, now we see that we have no block here. So let's see here, off and on, not off and off. So run again. And there we go. So there we have now our clients list. And if I go add new, we don't have the clients list available. And just like that, we have a really cool companies form slash application here for which we can manage our companies. Mm -hmm.